feel like I'm gonna get Dunkin' Donuts before I start this haul. That's gonna be a thing. Let's go get Dunkin' Donuts, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I got a coffee, a big one. Hey guys, okay, so I have a little beauty haul for you guys today and I'm so excited because literally this is the most collective haul ever. I've literally been like hoarding all this stuff since the end of July. It's the middle of September, so this is very collective. Most of it is from my birthday. Eh, come here. Ah, I should have got all the products together, but I didn't. I only have like one skincare item and um, my face was like breaking out really badly um, like around my birthday like August end of July and I could not get it under control it was just it was terrible it was like all over here and all over here so I went to Sephora and I saw this Peter Thomas Roth um, acne starter kit and I was like slightly intrigued and it was only $35 so I was just like we gonna get you so I got it and it came with like a good amount of stuff and the products were really big actually at first I thought this kit was a piece of I was just like this is not working my acne is getting worse like it's just it it doesn't look cute like this isn't working and while it did take a while to start working it did work eventually but it was a very slow process, like it was so slow. I thought like nothing was happening. And eventually my skin did clear up, so I'm gonna assume it was this because I was using this religiously for like a month and a half. Um, so I'm gonna assume it was this. So it does work, but it just happened very slowly. I also bought a new concealer. I bought this so long ago. Like the fact that I'm talking about this is so weird because I've had it for the longest time. But it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. And the only thing that sucks about this concealer is that they don't have a lot of shades. I think they have like six or seven shades. But other than that, this is the best concealer I've ever used in my life. It's so good. It's so full coverage and it's huge it's huge like do you see that it's huge a little bit goes a long way because it's so full coverage I'll just take it out once and this whatever is on the doe foot is good enough for both of my under eyes my forehead my nose my cupid's bow and my chin like I could highlight my entire face with this it's amazing okay so I also got two palettes from Anastasia First, I got the Moonchild Glow Kit. Oh my god, I was literally dying for this when I saw like the release photos. When it first came out, I was like, oh my god, give it to me, give it to me, please. It was so different, like it was just so different. I had never seen highlighters like this and it was so close to my birthday and I wanted it so bad, but I didn't think anyone was gonna buy it for me, so I bought it for myself and then like I tweeted out that I bought it and my best friend Jade, she was like, you little bitch, I ordered it for you for your birthday. And I felt so bad because she ordered it and I just was so impatient that I couldn't wait. So I ordered it for myself and it's beautiful. Blue ice is my jam. Like what? What? What do you mean, sir? What do you mean? What do you mean? Look at how pretty that is. But yeah, this palette is super pretty. I obviously don't get like a ton of use out of it because I don't wear this every day. But like, wait, if you want to be like a glowing unicorn alien glazed donut up in this bitch, this is the palette to go to. Another palette that I was dying for was the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And oh my God. When I first saw this get released like a while ago, I was like, oh, that's super pretty. It's like permanent though, so I'll be able to buy it like later in the future. So I wasn't really concerned about it. Then I saw it in person a few times and I swatched it and I was just like, I need this. And then my sister got it for me for my birthday and I was just like, oh damn, it's about to be over. And it's beautiful. It's just full of like warm shades, like those warm orangey shades. It has like some nice burgundy maroon shades with some nice magenta shades. like. And you would think that like these pink shades aren't that wearable, but no, they are, they are. This is like the perfect fall palette. These shadows are so freaking pigmented. The only thing that sucks is there is a ton, a ton of fallout. So that's the only thing that sucks. Cause I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product cause I'll just dip it in once and then half the pan is gone. And I'm just like, okay. Another birthday gift that my best friend Jade got me 
was the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes and I have been dying for these lashes for the longest time but I never ordered them. I don't know why. They are huge but beautiful. I am just in love with them. They're so nice and wispy and dramatic but they're kind of like spiky at the same time and I'm just like yes give it to me. The first time I applied it, it was kind of a little bit difficult because the band on these are super thick, like super thick and like a little bit difficult to work with. But once you get used to wearing them and you wear them like once or twice and kind of break them in, they're pretty good. Something else that I've been wanting for a really long time and it is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Echo and it's a navy blue lipstick. <laughs> it's so pretty. Everything in this haul is so pretty. I I don't know any other words, I'm sorry. I saw someone use it in a tutorial and I was just like, I obviously need that. Like navy blue lipstick, who doesn't need that in their life? But I never got it because every time I would wanna buy it, someone was with me and they would be like, Bella, why do you need navy blue lipstick? You don't, that's stupid, don't get that. You're never gonna wear that. I haven't worn it once out in public yet, but it's so pretty, oh my God. And I feel like it's like kinda wearable. Like, is that not kind of wearable? <laughs> like on a nice fall day with just like some lashes and very minimal makeup and just like, bam, navy blue lips. Like, yes, yes. And I got another liquid lipstick and this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Drop Dead Red. Need I say more? It's like a burgundy, deep blood red and I love it. <laughs> I love it and I had my eye on this color for a while and I had a gift card and I was like today's the day we gonna get it what what is that just like not fall on my hand right there it looks super dark because it is but it's so pretty it's it's majestic it's magical you get it then I went crazy on Kylie cosmetics I did two orders. The first thing that I got was a lip gloss and this is in the shade Candy K. Okay, so this is it right here. It's a little bit pinker than Candy K liquid lipstick, but I still love it. It's beautiful. It's super opaque. The only thing that I don't like about her lip glosses is the brush. Like, I'm not a brush tip person when it comes to lip glosses. I'd rather just have a Dofa applicator. I feel like brushes like kind of make it streaky and Lynn. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I love this color. I got four liquid lipsticks and they're all from her newer shades from her summer collections. So the first one that I got is Malibu. Okay, so that's Malibu and I really wanted this one because it was a lighter nude in her collection and I feel like a lot of her shades on me look like a little bit more on the darker side. There's none that's really like a light, light nude and this one is and it has like a cool gray undertone to it so I thought it would be really nice faux fall, you know. Next color I got was Ginger and I was super excited for this because it was like gonna be a warm, dark, terracotta color and I'm all about that. I feel like a lot of her darker colors were a little bit more brown. And this is like more orange peach. So that's it. Big old swatch of it. It's it's so pretty. I think it's so nice for fall. I got two shades from like her most recent launch. So I got Dirty Peach and Love Bite. So Dirty Peach in the swatches, I was just like, yes, it's going to be a peachy nude. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a little bit more on the peachy side, a little bright and stuff for summer. It's going to be amaze balls. I'm going to love it. Like what? That was not the case when I got it. Um, I swatched it and I was just like, oh God, yes, this is beautiful. But then I put it on my lips and I was not about it. The lip liner is completely different from the liquid lipstick. The lip liner is a like more of a nude peach, whereas Dirty Peach is just a straight up orangey peach shade. There's like really no nude to it. Um, so when I put on the liquid lipstick like fully all over my lips, I just did not like the way it looked on my skin tone. It was like super orange peach and I was just like, no, not really my thing. But saying that, I am wearing Dirty Peach on my lips today. I love, love the lip liner. So I just lined and filled in my lips 
with the Dirty Peach Lip Liner. And then I just took some of the lipstick and I put it on the back of my hand and like I tapped my finger in it and just tapped the liquid lipstick on my lips a little bit. I was so excited to get Love Bite. I thought it looked so different and so unique compared to like other shades that she had. It's so pretty. It's like a gray toned plum and I'm just... I'm all about it. I'm so excited to wear this one. I think it's so pretty and different. Like, I don't have anything like this in my collection in general. So I really, really wanted this one and I was super excited to get it. I also got two new face powders because I ran out of my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Everyone loves them, but it's expensive. Like, I don't want to do that. I originally wanted the Airspun powder that like a lot of people love. So I went to Walmart, it was not there. I cried a little. Um, so I was like, okay, it's not here. I need another face powder because I need one anyways. So I picked up the Flower Beauty um, face powder, the translucent one, because I heard someone talking about it. I feel like it was Casey Holmes. So I was like, I'll get it. It was $10. Uh, the packaging is really pretty, but I feel like it's very bulky and like unnecessary. And at first, I was like, whoa, this powder looks different, and it's one of those silicone silica powders. The li Literally, the only ingredient is silica, silicone, whatever the hell you want to call it. You know what I'm talking about. That's literally the only ingredient. So it's like, it feels exactly like the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. I hate those type of powders because they leave such a white cast and I'm just not about it. But this one doesn't actually leave that bad of a white cast. But then my sister was like, girl, they stocked up at Walmart and she got it for me. And I was just like, thank you. And it's huge. It's the biggest powder I've ever seen in my life. And it's really good so far. And it smells good, which is weird. It smells good. It kind of smells like baby powder or like something something sometimes it's like a little overwhelming when I'm trying to bake my face and I just have like all the smell and it's like all this powder and I'm just like oh god I'm choking but it's super good it's this is my new baby and the last thing that I bought is a morphe palette and I bought this because Halloween is coming up and honestly I just don't have bright colored eyeshadows and I really wanted some um, just because I feel like whenever I want a pop of color, I never have the color because I don't have colorful eyeshadows. So I figured I'd just buy a palette that has all of them together. So I picked up the Morphe 35B palette and can we just all take a moment to appreciate. Look how pretty, like it literally has every single color in the rainbow. So pretty and I like that it has a black and a white and some neutrals. Like you know, like a nice transition shade kind of. But other than that, it's just beautiful, colorful rainbow-ness. I'm like living for this like magenta purple shade at the bottom and this green, oh yes. And that, that teal, yes, hunty. And the blues, mm, yes. So that was it for this lovely collective makeup haul if you guys liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the down bar below i'm very excited for fall fall is quickly approaching it's actually been getting like chilly here like during the nighttime, you know so i'm very excited for that so i'm super excited to start filming more fall videos i am starting to plan out my halloween looks that i want to film so if you guys have any specific requests whether it's like something cute and girly and pretty or gory and like bloody and eh, just leave it in the bottom bar below because I plan on doing both types of looks. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!